check this out. See, I put a hole in the front body. We used to do these with our gas trucks when we'd have, um, instead of electric RC car, we had the nitro engines. Um, and what we would do is we would cut holes in the front of the body to allow air to come in to help cool the engine. Well, I was looking at the electric motor and it sits back there, which is nice and air, but you want your air to come in through the front. The problem is, is we have these here, these mud guards, and that will stop all of the air from going back here. So we need air to travel back there. We cut a hole in the front. That way the air will go through and then come out the back. Ooh, look what just came in. Yes. All right. So these are the front hubs, I guess you can call them. I'm not sure what the actual name is. It's the whole front assembly, basically. It's the hub carriers. Uh, let's, let's open this, man. I got to see this. Oh yes, look at that, sexy. Oh, this thing is gorgeous. Ooh, all aluminum, carbon fiber. Oh yeah, this is going to be awesome. All right, let's install them. We got the whole left side of the vehicle, or no, this would be the right side. We got the whole right side of the vehicle tore apart. Here's the assembly. We're going to pull that off. Okay. And then we're now going to go ahead and hook up our new one, which I believe this is actually the left side. So we need to get the right one. Configuration. And it's going to look a lot better. And it's going to get rid of a lot of this play. If you look, see that? That's a lot of play. You don't want that. That's actually not good at all. So hopefully this aluminum one will snug that up. Also, if you look right here, you have these huge openings. The normal stock one is this little plastic cap. Well, these come with these little red like cylinder plug things that fit down inside there. So it gives it that kind of look once it's done cool have it check it out doesn't it look way better man this thing is sexy oh my god it's looking great look at that carbon fiber Woo! look at the aluminum oh god you're so beautiful look at the stock one look look at the stock one stock one that's the stock one <laughs> This is the new one, all aluminum, ready to go. Check out the play, look. Look at that. There's zero play in the damn thing, zero. Yes, awesome. Sorry, I'm shaking the hell out of the camera, sorry. Look at the intricate work, man, where the machine went through and machined it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Man, this thing is gorgeous, guys. Lovely. I have a lovely box of apples. Yes, I do. Hey, you know what the best part is about buying upgraded crap? When you pull off the stock stuff, now you have spare parts. Booyah! See, like all this stuff? This is all spare parts now. All spare parts that I would have to buy. Now I don't have to buy, and the best part is is the truck's brand new. That's why you need to upgrade your truck when you first get it, because the parts that you pull off, they won't be all wore out. They'll be brand new parts still. Like this, this is a brand new part. Awesome, awesome. Hot racing, aluminum front hub. And don't forget, we got the aluminum back hubs on there too, which you can't see because I have the tires on. Let's see, you can kind of see it. I think y'all saw that video, right? Where it says, see, you can see the, the, uh, where they lasered engraved it there. But yes, we have the front and rear hot racing aluminum carbon fiber 
pubs. Beautiful. Yes. Awesome. And then we put LED lights in the truck, which I'm going to show you guys that here in a minute because the GoPro is about to die. So, man, the GoPro just died. And we just put in the glow, the LEDs. It looks good, right? I think it looks awesome. Now, here's my concern. These LEDs, out. Like, already, man, that is getting really hot. So, these are not something you would want to run during the day. Because that, these LEDs, man, I mean, you can... Yeah, you can really feel the heat being put out by them, but... God, it makes the truck look cool. I gotta snip these off the back here. I gotta cut those. Um, I even thought about maybe like, I don't know, running it down the length of the shock or something. But, yeah. And then there's our nice little opening there. See that? See where the motor is? Right there. That way that air will get blown right on that motor. Because if you look down through here, see there's there's no airflow going in there. See that? That mud guard blocks it all. Sorry, I'm shooting this with my cell phone. Awesome. Well, that includes today's video. Uh, I just wanted to basically put it together real quick, get a couple things put in. And we have more upgrade parts that should be delivered today, but they... And not yet. Oh, yeah, there you go. Just run that over. There we go. Yeah, didn't need that. That's all right. So anyway, more footage to come. I like it. Next, I want to put the other tires on it. See how that does. But anyway, I'm getting out of here. I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Awesome. There's my rabbit. I couldn't find her. She's like in this tall field of grass. You see? Real tall grass. And that's all I saw was the top of them ears hanging out. And I was like, what is that? So I come over here. And there's my bunny. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. What you doing? Hmm? Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Don't be pregnant. Don't be pregnant. Usually when rabbits start doing this kind of thing, it's a sign that they might be pregnant. Or they may be wanting to be pregnant and they can't get pregnant, so they still kind of go through the motions of being pregnant. Right, little girl? I don't know. She is kind of getting big. You are getting kind of big. <laughs> Alright, back to the RC car.